Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all of the books that I read in May. I only read four books in May, um, so I didn't read a lot of books. I was kind of busy. May is a busy month, um, but I'm definitely planning on reading a bunch of books in June since it's summer. I think I'll be able to read a lot more books during the summer months. Um, so my June TBR is very long, and I think my video of books I read in June um, will be much fuller. But I'm going to go through the books that I read in in May, and then I'm currently reading Meet Me at the Lake, um, and I'm filming this on May 27th, so I do think I will technically finish this book in May, but I'm going to count it and um, count like the rating um, and talk about it in my books I read in June video, so stay tuned for this. Um, but the first book that I read in May was The Davenports. Um, I rated this book a 2.25, so not great. I kind of was just bored while reading it, and I thought it was a bit cliche. On Goodreads, I said, I really liked the setting of this book, but I thought the dialogue was a bit cliche and the ending felt unsatisfying. I was also really sad about the ending because basically, like, all these relationships are set up in the book, but then I think because the author is planning on writing a second book, like, none of the, like, the relationships aren't solidified by the end, which I was kind of disappointed about. But I'm glad I read it because, um, it, like, now I know that I like this setting. Like, now I know that I like historical fiction set in, like, the early 1900s. Um, because I really liked the setting and I thought that was really interesting. Um, and I liked the historical fiction element of it. But, like, the romance and the actual plotline kind of left me disappointed. But that was the first book that I read in May. Next, I read The Infinity Between Us. I liked this book. I rated this a 4 stars. Okay, I just checked my Goodreads, and I actually rated this a 4.5. That's how much I liked it. Um, I honestly, like, for, like, the first three quarters, I thought it was going to be a 5-star read. Because it had everything I wanted. This is a lot like The Summer I Turned Pretty, kind of like Every Summer After. Um, it's basically these people who meet every summer um, at a beach house. And um, something goes down, which like I did kind of... There is a plot twist, and I did see it coming. But I wasn't disappointed that I had seen it coming, like because it was still like a big deal when it happened. It still like impacted all these characters, you know? Um, but I did see the plot twist coming, I think, like... You can tell it's coming, um, but basically something happens and their families are torn apart. Um, the two characters are Violet and Will, but they're so cute and I loved, and it's now in then timelines, I loved like the then timelines, um, but basically they both end up at the house um, five years later, five years later, um, because they're both there to deal with the house and they both run into each other at the same time. And it was just very good, very summery, very sweet. Um, I loved this. It gave very The Summer I Turn Pretty vibes. So if you like The Summer I Turn Pretty, I definitely recommend this. It did get like a little boring at the end, I think. Um, and I did guess the plot twist, but I still definitely recommend it. Um, I'm really glad I read this and it made me so excited for summer. Next up is In Five Years. And let me just pre prequel this book by saying I have not rated a book five stars since May of 2022. The last book I rated a five stars was Family of Liars, and I read that like pretty soon after it had come out. Um, but the whole point, like it, it has been a year since I've rated a book five stars, and this book got five stars. This book hurt so bad. I I could I couldn't stop reading the last hundred pages. Like I just sat there and I read them straight through. So it was so good, but I was crying so hard. This is such a beautiful book. And so the first like half of the book is like pretty chill, whatever, you know, but it's like still so good. It's like there could be a chapter where nothing particularly like nothing really happens. Like this author 
Rebecca Searle, she could literally describe someone going to the grocery store and picking out their groceries and she could make it interesting because like her writing style is just so interesting and fascinating and even just the first line is like it like the first the very first chapter gets you hooked the first line is 25 that's the number I count to every morning before I even open my eyes the character was so fascinating I found the main character really interesting and the ending was just so beautiful it's heartbreaking but it's beautiful and you you realize all of these things in the book at the very end and it all just like clicks like a perfect puzzle and it's not what you expect but it's so beautiful and I definitely recommend this book I'm so excited to read One Italian Summer by her I'm, I just want to read all her books now because this was so good and I'm going to think about this for like the rest of my life um, so please read this book. It's so good. Get, buy a tissue box in advance. Have a tissue box with you when you're reading this book. You will need it. And lastly, the last book that I read in May was Daisy Jones and the Six. This book has been popular. This was like one of the first, I think one of the first, more like, more Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo was like the first, one of the first book talk books, but this was also one of the first book talk books, and I finally got around to reading it. Um, definitely good. I, I don't know. I think I liked The Seven Husbands of, Hugh, of Evelyn Hugo better just because I felt like more happened because this is written in a manuscript way. It's less like, like all these plot points like happening, happening, happening. Um, and it's more just kind of like a story of these people's lives. And so it's still really interesting and I still really enjoyed it. Um, and I found all these characters and like their re different relationships with each other um, really interesting and really um, fun to read but it definitely isn't like a go 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 book which I kind of liked about it is that um, I like would put this book down and like go do something else and then come back and so it's a really easy book to do that with um, I rated this a four stars so I really liked it I liked the I liked how it was written in manuscript form because I found it easier to read like somehow it just like I'd be like oh how am I already 20 pages in like it's it goes really fast um I did find the ending a little bit dissatisfying like I felt like um Taylor Jenkins read like like seven the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo like the ending was really good and the ending like kind of left you off at like a great note and this book like the ending you just like at the end you just feel like satisfied and you're like wow you know I did feel like the ending of this book was a little un underwhelming um just because I think she could have done something fun with it to leave the reader off on like a happy note or like a satisfied note um, but besides that, I really enjoyed it. It made me very excited to watch the TV show because everyone's been talking about the TV show. All right, these are the four books that I read in May. Um, comment down below your favorite book that you read in May. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will tell y'all about Meet Me at the Lake next month. So far, it's looking pretty good. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.